Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak to you today. I'd especially like to thank Cheyenne, Felicity, and the rest of the hardworking and dedicated members at FDRS for putting together such a fabulous conference. This conference is extremely important for patients with lipedema because we know that many providers and medical physicians have never even heard of the term, much less know how to treat it. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Jay Granzo. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and I've been on faculty in the Division of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery at UCLA since 2005. The focus of my practice is treating patients with lipedema and lymphedema using a comprehensive and holistic treatment approach. I thought we'd take the next few minutes to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that we see in our practice about both lipedema and lymphedema. Many patients and even doctors are confused about the difference between lipedema and lymphedema. Both lipedema and lymphedema involve swelling of the arms and legs. However, both disorders are very different both in what causes them and how they're treated. Lipedema is a disorder of the accumulation of pathologic fat. This fat is often painful and can have a grainy texture that's often described as a beanbag-like texture. This fat tends to accumulate with hormonal changes in a patient's life, such as during pregnancy, menarche, menopause. It does not respond to normal changes in weight, such as weight increase or weight decrease. Both arms or legs tend to be affected equally. In contrast, lymphedema is a disorder of the lymphatic system, which is part of the immune system. This involves the circulation of lymphatic fluid which your body naturally uses to clean out the insides of your arms and legs. If this fluid does not drain properly, an arm or a leg will tend to swell because of the accumulation of this toxic and inflammatory fluid. This fluid, if left built up, can cause permanent damage to the surrounding structures and result in the permanent accumulation of fat and protein. Patients with lipedema often voice fears that they may have lymphedema as well. Can a patient have both lipedema and lymphedema? Patients with lipedema may have undiagnosed lymphedema on top of their lymphedema. This lymphedema must be carefully managed in order to prevent worsening of their condition. Because lipedema is a disorder of pathologic fat and inflammation, it can lead to lymphedema as well. What is the surgical method I use to treat lipedema? I use liposuction, which is a specialized form of liposuction that I've developed to treat lipedema. Liposuction allows me to remove the pathologic fat present in patients with lymphedema, but also safely protect that patient's lymphatic system. This allows me to produce the best long-term results in patients with lipedema. If a patient has liposuction surgery, are the results permanent? Yes, liposuction permanently removes the pathologic fat in lipedema. It's important to note that patients, if they have significant weight gain after the liposuction surgery, can also gain weight in other areas. Patients have often asked me whether laser liposuction or liposuction incorporating lasers have caused lymphedema. I've seen numerous patients who have had lymphedema develop soon after treatment with laser liposuction. I believe that the laser in these cases has damaged the patient's lymphatic systems permanently and therefore I do not recommend the use of laser liposuction to treat patients with lipedema. What happens when a patient with lipedema and lymphedema has surgery only to treat the lipedema? If a patient has both lipedema and lymphedema, surgery used to treat only the lipedema can actually worsen their condition. The patient's underlying lymphedema does not allow that patient to adequately heal 
and reduce the inflammation that naturally occurs after surgery. In fact, the patient's underlying lymphedema may become worse after lipedema-only surgery. How do I treat patients with both lipedema and lymphedema? Patients with both lipedema and lymphedema are best treated using a lymphedema comprehensive and integrated lymphedema treatment system. This lymphedema treatment will treat the lipedema effectively as well. This will allow proper healing and long-term provide the best outcome for patients with both conditions together. How do I diagnose lymphedema? Patients come to our office and have a thorough evaluation by both the lymphedema therapist as well as myself to best assess their condition. In addition, I use ancillary studies done by a radiologist such as lymphocentigraphy which allows me to assess the patient's underlying lymphatic drainage and also endocyanine green imaging, which is used in the operating room when I perform lymphedema surgeries, also to better understand and image the patient's lymphatic system. How important is it for patients with lipedema to have screening for lymphedema as well? I feel it's very important for patients with lipedema to be screened for lymphedema also. We find that a large number of patients with lipedema also have an underlying lymphatic system that does not work. These patients need to be treated differently than patients with just lipedema. Why are multiple surgeries often required to treat patients with lipedema? For me, safety is most important. Patients with lipedema often have a volume of excess pathologic fat that's too great to be treated by just one surgery. In these cases, we break the surgical treatment down into multiple stages that allows us to perform surgery safely in each stage and allows for complete healing between the stages to give the patient the best results possible. How do I perform liposuction surgery? Liposuction surgery is performed using very small incisions in the areas that are affected. I use very specialized cannulas performed in the direction of the lymphatics to spare the lymphatics and protect the lymphatics while safely removing the pathologic fat. This allows me to remove as much fat as possible while still being safe during the procedure. What types of anesthesia do I use to treat patients with lipedema? As a board certified plastic surgeon, I have the option of using general anesthesia, either in the hospital or surgery center, or local anesthesia in the hospital or surgery center to treat the patients. There are different advantages of each one, and we custom fit each patient to their procedure. For example, if we use the hospital setting, I can remove larger volumes of fat in one sitting. Many patients are also much more comfortable being completely asleep during the procedure to provide them the best and most comfortable experience possible. Thank you again for allowing me to be part of the FDRS conference. And a special thanks again to Cheyenne, Felicity, and all of the people who have worked so hard to put this together. If you have any other questions, we're always happy to help. You can either contact us through our website or contact or call our office directly.